Good day everyone, my name is Mahalan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am at a place called Sand Palms Roadhouse and Motels in Dundee Forest Region, Northern Territory, Australia. In one of our previous videos, you guys would have watched our fishing in Finnish River and about the bar and restaurant of this place. For those who haven't watched that, I will leave the link of that video in the description below and you guys can check that out. So, today's video will be the continuation of the previous video and what we are going to do in today's video is we are going to go to the top of the river on our way we will be doing a bit of fishing we are going to do a bit of bushwalking and also we are going to try fishing from the river banks this is definitely going to be interesting guys and before going into this video i would like to ask you guys to please consider subscribing to our channel and encourage making more contents and without further delay let's start our adventure today another couple of friends have joined us hey guys they have also brought their boat and our boat is just at the behind all right guys now we are going towards the boat ramp and once we reach there we can get our boat on water and start our fishing trip We have started our journey and we just gonna head this way going upstream reach the top of the river and start fishing from there let's go guys As I said before, couple of mates are joining us in this journey and another couple here are also going to come with us. When we are going upstream to the top of the river, there will be a lot of rocks on our way and we can't go without proper guidance. As Jamie is fishing in territory for more than 30 years, he knows bits and pieces of this place very well and he is our tour guide today.
As you see ahead, you can see a very big tree fallen across the river, guys. I reckon we still got space to go through, so it won't be a problem and we can keep going. Oh, look at this tree guys. It was uprooted and fallen across the river. It is very big tree and I reckon it would have fallen because of erosion caused by heavy water flow. You can also see dry leaves and dirt are also floating along the fallen tree. Alright guys, now we have reached the region where there are a lot of rocks beneath the water surface. So we need to go very slow and carefully. You guys can see few rocks exposed out of the water and these rocks are keep going under the water too. There is a big tree grown on the rocks and also you can see some fallen trees and logs are floating on the water. I would say there is not much traffic in this part of river guys. There is no one else other than us. There are also many rocks present along the riverbank. We should definitely go very cautiously and if we hit on any rocks harder, our boat will be broken and we will be good feed for the crocodiles here. Alright guys, we are almost at the top of this river. Let's go a little bit further and we can see that clearly. This is the place where this part of the river starts flowing from mainstream. Water flowing through the rocks from that side and as the water flow very high here, probably there will be fish. We are going to do a bit of fishing from here and try our luck. All right guys, it's time for bushwalking and try some fishing along the riverbanks. You can see our boats have been tied up here and we are going to walk through the bush and along the riverbanks to do some fishing. While walking along the riverbanks, we need to be mindful of crocodiles. Northern Territory is full of crocodiles and they can be anywhere along the riverbank. River is going along that direction and now we are going to go in this direction. 
Bush walking is always fun guys. You can see something new and get to know something new every time. Isaac and Jamie are there. I reckon they are fishing there. Let's go and join them. There was no luck in that place guys, let's keep going and try other spots. Alright guys, this is another spot to try some fishing. Let's fish here for some time. It seems unlucky today guys. No one is getting a fish yet. Anyway, let's keep walking and trying. This is another spot along the riverbank with some mangrove plants. Cool spot guys, let's try fishing from here for some time. It's a bit frustrating when you try for a long time and still you don't get any fish. It feels like a no fish day guys. Alright, now it's time to go back to our boat and prepare some lunch for us. Ro 
roasted chicken and potato salad wrap is our lunch. Lunch in the river surrounded by nature. Such a great feeling guys. Cheers. Now we are going to go downstream and we will be trying fishing on our way back. Let's see, we can at least get a fish today. Look at our mates, they are still trying fishing from here. Hey guys, everyone is frustrated without any fish today guys. Ah, that's gone. Our mate got a small black bream now, at least a fish today. Good job mate. That's a good catch. Got a barramundi guys. One fish and a good sized barra today. Guys, we saw a crocodile along this river bank. We are going back to see that one and wait, I will show you guys. Wow. He's just chilling along the river bank. He's not that big, I would say it would be around 2 to 2.5 meters. Let's leave him there without messing with him and getting into trouble. We can keep going now.
All right, guys. Today was a great day. We went on this river upstream, tried fishing along the river and river banks, and even though we haven't got many fish, it was a great experience in the wild. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video. And if you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up on this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our updates. And that's a wrap, guys. I will see you all in another good one. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.